Uh, but anyways, uh, he has he has very good cadence over his beats. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Uh, he's, he's he's got uh, other MCs that come in, you know, after him, and he's able to hold his own mm -hmm. even in spite of that. Right. You know what I mean? And he sounds great to me at his best, and he has mm -hmm. other MCs rhyming behind. Him. Not to mm -hmm. say that he can't carry his own rhyme mm -hmm. for an entire song. I'm not. I don't mean that. He, he does a very good job of that. Right. But to me, when he's at his best, mm -hmm. so he has very good MCs coming up. You know, behind him. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Because it gets to. You get to see a different perspective on the beat itself. Mm. We have another MC rhyming over. True, true. You know what I'm saying? So mm. it's kind of like another set of eyes on, on your beat. You know mm. how, I mean, you're, you're a producer MC. You know how, how, how you want to rhyme over it. Someone's going to go and look at that beat differently than you. Mm -hmm. Although it's the same beat, obviously. Right. Well, I, I, I definitely agree with you. And I think, you know, he does have an advantage. And a lot of producers do have that advantage because, look, you're there from, from the creative jump. Right. You're there when the metronome is just playing and you're just making, <laughs> making the beat. So you do have yeah. that advantage. The right. problem is with a lot of producers yeah. who are producer MCs, right. they just don't have that skill. The thing yeah. is, Black Milk has the talent to Without make a, a, a dope beat. Dope, dope beats don't sleep. On top of that, yeah. has the ability to bring the lyrics to crush his own beats. Yeah, absolutely, so, absolutely man. Absolutely. So, why don't you, why don't you uh, what are some of your favorite tracks well, on, you know, on the album? Well, you know, favorite tracks, so I'm just looking at it right now. Obviously, Deadly Medley is, is incredible. Mm -hmm. okay. Probably one of, the, one of the best songs on the album. I yeah, agree. that in uh, Black and Brown, where mm -hmm. uh, this guy, another MC coming in, mm -hmm. featuring uh, a guy named Danny Brown. I'm, I'm not very familiar with Danny Brown. I mean, mm -hmm. you guys are familiar with Danny Brown and Danny Brown's work. Make sure you hit us up at our mm -hmm. site, at our Facebook, which is? Facebook, Cypher Crew. On Facebook, you can also hit us up on our email. That is Kid and Muff Forty Four at Gmail. Right, uh, Danny Brown, hit us up there. Let mm -hmm. us know about this Danny Brown guy. I'm going to do my own research too. I didn't do a lot I'll of do research the same. Danny Brown, Danny Brown himself. So I'm going to play. What is dope? Very but, dope. Um, yeah, but anyways, the way he comes in after it, and it's mm -hmm. funny because there's no there's no stoppage in the rhyme. It's just like he rhymes, just so he mm -hmm. just picks it up and right. finishes it up, finishes off the beat. Right. You know what I mean? Straight boom bap. Incredible. So Deadly Medley, Black and Brown are my two favorite uh, songs on the album. Okay. Mm -hmm. But again, if I'm looking at it from an overall perspective, well, first of all, do you have any favorites? Um, you know, Deadly Medley is probably just my, my favorite song off, off the album. But, you know, I'll let you go ahead and, and you yeah. know, I'll digress a little bit. But one thing I will say about, about this album, yep. it's like when we sit here, and because, you know, I, I've caught a little bit of slack about calling some albums whack. Yeah. Black Milk is the reason why I call some of you artists out there whack. Okay, because we yeah, got it. Yeah. this is this <laughs> is an artist. Okay, yeah. <laughs> this guy is an yeah. artist. He's bringing it. This is true hip hop. Okay, he is not coming with any type of gimmick. I mean, he not only is because when he's when I say he's not splitting album or splitting atoms in in, in, the, in the studio with his rhymes or anything, he's not bringing anything. He's not bringing anything that 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 we haven't he's heard. Not bringing Venom the wheel. Exactly. You know, and he's, 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 I'm sorry, he's, he's bringing like right. regular everyday stuff. When he said that this is the album of the year, I'm, I'm telling you everything that happened to me. Yeah. I had some stuff happening within my family. Yeah, I, had yeah. my, I had some, you know, some boys you know, that went through some trauma. I went through some drama of my own. And, you know, and he brings it, but his lyrical flow is so incredible, yeah. it, just, he, it just keeps your attention. Yeah. That's true hip hop. He's keeping it real with you. He's not talking about nothing gangster. Right. He's not talking about anything too, too crazy. He's just bringing it straight to you with incredible lyrical flow. And incredible lyrical beats. Now back to you, Mark. Yeah, yeah. Well, well. The, the point I was going to make was, my cousin and I were talking last night about kind of what you were saying, mm -hmm. and you know, some of the you know older guys and you know true you know true heads mm -hmm. um, in hip hop, we always knee jerk diss newer guys in hip hop, especially mainstream artists. Okay. You know what I mean? Now that said, we we're talking about the fact that. Some of these younger guys, like Black Milk and some of the other guys we were looking, listening to last night, which we'll review later, I'm not even going to give their names up, but some of these younger guys, actually, they picked up on the way hip-hop was in the 90s, the golden era, mm -hmm. and they kept the truth. That's why you have true school hip-hop artists. Mm -hmm. These guys, they got it right. They say, you know, we're going to keep it, we're going to keep doing hip-hop. Mm -hmm. They're primarily underground MCs. Right. You know what I mean? They're not doing anything that, ne that hasn't been done necessarily, but they continue to evolve in a way that the way that I feel hip hop was meant to evolve. Okay, if that makes any yeah, sense. Yeah, and, and I, I definitely agree with you. As a matter of fact, that's one of the things I was thinking of when I was listening to this album. Because I mean, I was I was blown away by the album. I loved it. Um, that this 
is the evolution of hip hop because you will hear like a new a lot of new artists saying that you know when somebody like us yeah will come out and say well you know we're not digging what you're doing they'll say well we are the new hip hop we are the evolution of hip hop you know what you guys were or what you guys were listening to back in the uh, back in the late eighties and the nineties or whatever you know this is what it has turned into mm -hmm. well unfortunately I don't really agree with that I think what Black Milk is I mean when you, right now when you have a producer uh, slash MC mm -hmm. who has true talent mu not only musically but lyrically mm -hmm. this is the evolution of hip hop yeah this is what it is this is what it's turned into and right. I think he is the future of hip hop right right because if you listen to it I don't mean this as well I guess it's gonna come across as a diss go ahead say okay it. you know Swiss Beats he's a Producer MC, right? Mm -hmm. I've heard. I, well, in fact, I, I just I, heard a new. No, Swiss Beats trying to rhyme now, straight up. I'm listening. Like Kanye got a new song out with Swiss Beats on there. Okay. Okay. Rhyming. Oh, oh okay. Rhyming. All right. I digress. So, you know, I'm that's sure. not what I meant by hip hop. Okay. Black milk is what I mean by hip hop. By you hip -hop. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This is a guy. He real MC. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Don't get caught up into your ego because your beats is nice and you're trying to rhyme now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> Black Milk from the jump, he's been that dude. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and, and rate it. Okay. For me, Black Milk, album of the year, out of five, mm -hmm. I give it three and a half. Basically. Give it three and, half? three and a half? Um, On this one, I have to disagree with your mouth. Okay. I'm okay. going to give it a full five. Whoa! I'm he was classic on me! I'm, wow. I'm not, now, the whole thing is with five, I'm not so much saying classic. Okay. I'm not saying classic. All right. But definitely right. five. Okay. I'm giving this one a five, y'all. All right. So, put, for, so I guess if you average it out, it's <laughs> about five, but a four point three. It's about a four point three. Star, I love, heck? I love this album, uh, Black Milk. I've yeah. loved like, everything that I've listened from. I can't say I love everything from Black Milk, but yeah. I mean this album. I definitely it caught my attention. Listened through it through the whole album, yeah. and went back from the beginning. Listened mm -hmm. to it again. Okay. Went back. Listened to it again. Okay. But I mean, I'm not gonna give it classic status just yet. It still has to sink in a little bit, right. but still. Definitely, Black Milk is the future of hip hop. Right. People like Black Milk are the future of hip hop, right. and I am happy that you know people are out there like Black Milk yes. are out there making music. And God bless Black Milk and the, and the rest of his crew. Keep doing what you're doing, though, Black Yo. Milk. That's what's up, man. Yeah, we don't forget it. to hit us up we on Cypher Crew. Let us know. Tell us about ourselves. Keep your comments coming. Keep the love right. coming. Hit us up on Gmail at Kid and Muff. 44 at gmail.com Don't forget to send us your music because we want to hear it. We've been listening to some of your stuff. We want to grade your stuff. We want to grade your stuff and what's more too, make sure you guys download the Cypher Crew mixtape. The mixtape. Uh, it's been up there for about a month. We're going to re-up it too just in case the link's gone. Mm -hmm. And volume 2 is going to be coming up too. Aye. Very soon. The, uh, volume 2 being the, called the N-word is the name of the mixtape. So, <laughs> you know, um, it's, it's going to be banging. All right. Okay? Do that. All right. Because the cypher said so, son. Cypher. We out of here. Late. Peace.